Hey guys, welcome back. This is Monotype Master here, and I'm bringing you another um, eco-friendly Minecraft video. So, unfortunately, on Wednesday, um, I had some stuff come up. Um... I had to take my sister to the uh, to a car dealership to get a car and drive her back. It was a little short notice. Um, so, yeah. Sorry for that. So, um, to make it up to you guys, we're going to do a double episode today. Um, the question is, is what do we want to do? Um, we do kind of have our base. So, I'm thinking maybe what we should do is... Um, Set this on easy. Or normal. Um, okay. That was creepy. Um, but before that, we probably should make, like, iron armor or something of that nature. Because, yeah. We do want... Let's blast furnace. I think that's the right amount. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. So essentially, uh, I guess our goal is to, um, oh, I already have some armor. Okay. Um, well, this is a little awkward. I didn't realize I had armor. So, um, I think we don't really, uh, we don't really need... Well, he had a hoe. And we also have a nice little sword there. Oh, another hoe. Okay. We've got an enchanted apple. Once we figure out how to cheat... So, I mean, honestly, I think we, we might be ready now. Let's just take our sword. Um, and, uh, maybe not. So, essentially, our goal is going to be to get creeper to blow up some trees that's 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 our goal um so first we want to find a nice little forest or a place with trees oh we found something okay and then we're gonna try to uh go into normal mode and uh, let the creeper um blow up a tree now i did test this out and it does work um however there's a chance that the blocks won't drop so it could take a little bit longer than we'd like but first things first, let's save and quit. So, um, <clears throat> my one of my friends, uh oh, uh oh, we didn't do that right. We were supposed to change the difficulty. I don't know if I could just do that. Um, they wanted me to create a little brief video um, so that they could put it up on TikTok and advertise my channel to, um, well, just advertise my channel. Uh, it's very nice of them. I have no idea what I'm going to do. 
um, for the video, though. Absolutely no idea. Um, I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about what I can do. One, one minute is a very short amount of time. Um, but two, um, I don't really know. I haven't really found my niche yet, I feel like. Um, let's go to normal. We have a base, so we're just going to skip that whole step. And, uh, yeah, I really haven't found my niche yet, you know? Um, I'm trying to act natural, but I'm still kind of rigid on, um on camera, you know, so it's kind of like, I kind of, st I think I feel, I still feel a little bit robotic, you know, um, and I feel like I've loosened up a little bit, um, slowly as I've gotten used to recording myself, um, but, like, anyone who knows me in real life would know that generally this isn't the way I would act in, in real, what the heck happened here? Okay, let's just check and see, it's, it's on normal, okay. So anyone who knows me in real life would know that this is generally not how I act, um, naturally. Um, I mean, it's a little bit of a personal thing that I'm about to tell you, but... So, when my sister, um, made me take her to the, uh, thing, to the, to the car dealership, I had gotten four hours of sleep, and then, um, I, uh, I was woken up, and then I said, I'm, I'm planning on going back to bed, okay? So... You know, um, and like two hours later, I, I had been trying to get back to bed, and I decided the best way for me to go to sleep was, and, 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 uh, you know, if, if you're, if you're, if you're a child, I would leave the chat now, you know, I'll leave the, leave the video now, because this is, this is not family friendly, um, but I was in the middle of, uh, watching adult videos, okay, and my sister calls, uh, and, you know, it was going to be a real good one, too. <laughs> and I, I told my sister this, too. Like, I don't think many people would say that out loud. Like, they'd be sitting there being like, I was watching adult videos. And, of course, I didn't state it like that. I'm trying to be at least somewhat censored. But let's put it this way. I'm not the most um, PG of people. Uh, I'm a very... Oh, my gosh, it's a mini llama. Mini llama, he's a drama llama, drama llama. What? Uh, okay. So yeah, um, I guess we just have to wait for a creeper to spawn. I think that's what we're waiting for. Which isn't the coolest thing in the world, but you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh oh, I don't have any food. I don't have any food. I gotta go back and get food. Um, not only that, but I sat there and I was telling the story of my... Uh, I, I told myself... <laughs> on the way there, I, after after telling them about how they ruined my... Uh, my... My... Um, my... Fun time. <laughs> I, I was like... Um, I was like... It's like I started talking about the best um, orgasm I've ever had, and you know, this is probably not the things you should be talk you should be talking about. But I talk about it anyway. Uh, so my my point is is that um, I'm 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 not your uh, I'm 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 not the most uh, restrained of people, and. Uh, I've, I've kind of felt like being like I'm a robot uh, lately when I'm doing these videos because I just don't feel like myself, you know? So I'm trying to get into the point where I'm, I'm being myself and I'm more loose and more comfortable with recording and, you know, because I feel like I'm a, a kind of likable person. Um, uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm biased because, you know, I like myself or something like that, but... I feel like I'm a pretty likable person, uh, and, uh, I feel like I've been a robot, and, you know, being a robot is, is not likable, you know? Um, I mean, I guess being a robot would be cool, 
Like, some people like robots, but I mean, like, when your personality is just dry, like, you know, like, bread, you know, it, it's not, not the best in the world, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. But back on to what we were talking about before. So I've been thinking about, you know, what could promote my channel? What could let people know what I'm really about? Um, so, wow, that's pretty cool. The, the truth is I have no idea what I want to do with my channel. Um, and I'm being honest there. I have no idea what I really want to do with my channel. Um, I do want to continue doing Pokemon videos, um, because that's why I created the channel. But to be truthfully honest, um, when I was considering being a YouTuber, making Pokemon videos wasn't my first idea. Um, my first idea was I want to be a creative writer, um, and I wanted to do, um, write short stories and then kind of act them out, um, in the video. So, yes, uh, that's what I wanted to do. Um, uh, and I even bought a software. It's called Face Rig. What is this? Place of lockdown, and we'll all fall down. Uh, anyway, I, I, it was a, it's a software called Face Rig, and it's kind of like making yourself into a VTuber. What I was planning on doing was creating little backgrounds um, for each story, and then like, you know, basically doing a voice acting for each character and creating like little models and stuff like that. But the big problem was, is one, it was way, way, way too much work for someone who's just starting out. And the second thing was that what I wanted to do was... Um, have a comment section going on where people would sit there and, you know, give me a comment and the most upvoted comment would be placed in the video. Like, let's say if they said, I want you to write about a fuzzy green monster called Bubba, then, you know, um, I would have to somehow make that fit if someone upvoted that and it was the top. I was thinking about doing, like, Every week, I'd have a few videos that I'd do, and at the end of the week, I would take the top comment on each of those videos and um, merge them together um, into making one short story at the end of the week. So, and I still want to do that. The big problem is, one, I don't have a fan base going on, um, you know, for me to get comments going in the comment section. And the second thing is that I really have no idea how I'm going to do all of that properly. I do have face rigs so I can make the characters, but I have no idea how to make models. So, um, you know, I have no idea how to make the models that I would use on the face rigs. So I would just have to use the generic ones. Um, and then the second thing uh, is I, I have no um, artistic talent in making backgrounds and stuff that I would want to use for um, for the settings of the novels so it's kind of it's kind of a work in progress there um, so and of course I have no idea what games I'm going to be playing because eventually I will run out of Pokemon content and don't get me wrong I've got 18 types but I went through two types in like the matter of two months, so um, I could be basically done really quickly, especially if I start increasing the amount of content that I pump out each week, I would be doing a lot more. Um, and I could easily finish all 18 types within the next time that a new Pokemon game comes out. So, you know... This is a real problem. Um, so eventually I will run out of content for Pokemon. And I could do top tens and other things like that. 
Uh, don't get me wrong, but is that a huge tree? I gotta look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like a huge tree. Oh no, it's lava. Um, so yeah. And of course, I think I've decided that we're going to do a Minecraft video every week. And that Minecraft video is going to be, um, we're going to call that Minecraft Monday. So at the start of every week is going to have a Minecraft video, which would be cool. Um, the question is, is what, uh, what do I really show on this video to promote my channel? Um, what, what would promote me? What, what's a good quality that I have that other YouTubers don't? Um, uh, obviously my sexy voice is one of them. Everyone knows how sexy my voice is. Just listen to this sexy, smooth voice. It's really, I mean, I, I bet you, uh, any ladies that are watching, they just, um, they fall in love the moment that they hear this voice, you know? And I know, I know, I know, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, I'm kidding. Uh, that's not, I'm not, I don't actually think that. I'm not that conceited. Now we got some, there's a spider. It's the haunted, this is the haunted Astolfo spider. It, uh. Starts attacking at night. That's how you know it's nighttime. Oh, there's a creeper. There is a creeper. There is a creeper, and he is creeping. Come here, creepy. That did not go well for me. I wanted him to blow up near a tree. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, let's see here. If we can find ourselves another creeper. A little creepy, a little creepy boy. Little creepy boy. There's a creeper and he's right next to a tree. Baby! Got me some wood. It's not the most amount of wood you can get, but you know what? It's wood. It's wood. And you know, we're still being eco-friendly because creepers are part of the ecosystem, okay? They're part of the ecosystem. This is the ecosystem doing things it probably shouldn't, but you know, it's the ecosystem's fault, not mine. We're looking for another creeper, another creeper, another creeper. We want the creeper to blow up a tree. He's like, I got me a big old bow. Sweetness got me a, a bow. Do 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 do
So we, we got we got wood. We got wood, fam. Oh, there's another creeper. Come here, my guy. Come here, my guy. Come here. Blow this tree up for me. Thanks for pushing me out of the hole, my dude. So we got some wood now. But unfortunately, now we have to stay in this normal mode. Which absolutely sucks. I don't like being in... I don't like fighting monsters. Monsters suck. Monsters can suck my chicken. So now that we have wood, we can kind of just play things by ear. First, we have to find our our bed. We have some wood. Let's eat this deliciousness. Man, that guy let the cat out of the building. There's a there's a spider in my house. Spider, spider, stay out of my house. Stay out of my house. you freaking monster doing monster stuff in my house it's right it's daytime now ain't nobody gonna stop me from being the best okay so now the first thing we need to do is make a whole bunch of wood planks. Okay. So what I think I want to do is... Um, we're going to want to make a sign. First things first. That is a big thing we're going to need. We need a sign. I know you're thinking, okay, why do I need a sign? Well, the answer is because. Um, don't worry about it. Not yet, anyway. Okay, we got a bucket. We got two buckets. Good, 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 good. Wait, why do I have two buckets? I was pretty sure I only had one bucket. Okay, so we got two buckets. Okay. Um, good, 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 good. I should do ASMR. Yes, that's what I should do now. I am the ASMR guy. I, I shall be the ASMR guy. Yes. Now that we have our wood, we can, um, we can go ahead and proceed to make a fishing area. Yes, that is exactly what we're going to do. So what we're going to need for that is, uh, we're going to need two hoppers. Let me explain what we're, we need two hoppers and a rail car. So let's get these chests. We need a couple of chests. Um, so we're going to need uh, two hoppers. There's two hoppers. And I think one of them needs to be in a mine cart. So we're going to need a mine cart. There we go. We got our mine cart. Uh, we also need... We need um, some rails. So what we're going to... Oh no, what have I done? doesn't count. Okay. Let's get that out of my inventory so we don't make that mistake again. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need um, we need a rail. Uh, so first we gotta go get some sticks. Pick up sticks, my, my dudes. Okay, and we need a rail. So now we have a rail, and uh, we have our hoppers, and we need one hopper and a minecart. So here we go. Here's a hopper and a minecart, if we can find it. There we go. Hopper and a minecart. There we go. Um, we 
also need chests. But we got those, so we don't have to worry about that. We have our, we have our fence. We have that. Um, what else do we need? We do need about two stacks of blocks. So, let's see. Um, I can go get the blocks later. We can do cobblestone or we can do sandstone. I'm thinking sandstone will be better. Uh, we're going to need a lava bucket and we're also going to need a water bucket. We're also going to need a fish. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think if I need anything else. I do need, I, I believe I need some stairs and some slabs. Uh, we can also make those out of sandstone, so let's see here. Anything else that I need? Um, I think I have everything. I think I do. I think I have everything. Now, the question is if I remember how to do this. Um, if I remember how to do this... Uh, Without watching a guide, I might have to do this off camera. So we might have to wait till next time. But we can at least go and get the sandstone that we need now. So let's take this and go get some sandstone. I think we want, uh, we're gonna want a full two stacks. You know what we can do? So we can go ahead and, uh, I know what you're thinking here. So what am I doing? I think I've decided that I want to make a underground uh, mining area. So what we're going to do is just kind of fill that in. Um, no, whoops. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but we're just going to do this. We're going to do an underground perfect because we're going to be able to dig um, underground with light. So the light from the daylight is going to come through that glass and it's going to make a kind of, it's going to light up the dark. So we don't really have to worry too much about, um, so what we do is we're going to make a, let's see here, let's pull the, this out here. Uh, and uh, I, I think I've gotten stuck in the ASMR mode. Because I'm just whispering now. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a little weird now, but I don't think I can stop. So we're gonna want the fences here, and, uh, let's see here. I think. How many think we're gonna need? I think. to be um, I said I need three more how do I get smooth sandstone I don't know so I need three more there we go so we don't fall through and now we have this we're gonna need a fence gate
Let me know in the comment section if you guys like my ASMR. Okay, I want to take that dirt out, but I don't want to put anything else in its place, so you know what? We're just going to keep it there. And the good news is, is we're going to know when it gets dark. stone we would just have to kind of use a furnace okay so let's see what's happening
let's see, we got some, so yeah, we have cobblestone now, that's good, do we have like andesite or something, yes we do, okay, so what I like to do is fill andesite in, I use cobblestone, um, when, like, let's say there's like a big old open cave or a hole, I fill it in with cobblestone, but I'll use andesite for, um, non-open holes. If that makes sense. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I'm not doing uh, ASMR anymore. I guess I finally, uh, finally went back to normal. Well, if you liked ASMR, let me know. I don't know why I got stuck in that. It's like you start whispering and you just can't stop, you know? It's weird. Oh boy, didn't mean to do that. I'm debating if I want to keep this thing. I do have a blast furnace, so... And I have hoppers, so... You know what, let's just do that. Now, what we should do, what I probably should do at some point in this playthrough is... Oh, did I run out of andesite? I ran out of andesite. What is this door, right? Here, I know what to do. We'll do... We'll fill it in with dirt. see here get some sand going on right there and uh, what am I gonna do here well no actually I actually have two holes here that's not good well we can fix it later Oh, we're getting close, my guys, my dudes. The big problem is I'm feeling bad. Okay, so... Every time I play Minecraft... I end up wanting to start over. Because they create a new update, and then you have to start a new map. Because they change the way things, like, are formed and spawn. So it's like, you know... Take this. I know what you're thinking, why am I doing this? The answer is quite simple. So we can put this dirt. I don't know when I got so much dirt, but I have dirt. And we can kind of do that and then fill up the hole. Perfect. Oh, I'm 
seeing redstone. Now, I'm not quite sure. Someone uh, said they wanted me to do a redstone tutorial. Um, and I'm not quite sure if, if I am qualified to do that. But I might give it a shot later. I do like building with redstone. Get me? Don't get me wrong. However, um, I am not the best person to be doing redstone tutorials. If you ask me, I learned to do redstone computers from Benny's Cube, and I watch. Um, uh, watch. Uh, can't remember his name. He begins with an M other uh sort of redstone stuff so all that would be is just me kind of repeating what they do so you know it's not like i learned the stuff myself created the this is kind of a pretty looking stone if you ask me this kind of bluish stone here i kind of like it oh crap i'm at seven i went down too far Okay. Here we go. Uh-oh. It's dark. Wish I had a bed right now. Now, we have to kind of think of what direction we want to go in. So once we've got this... You can tell we're in the right location because we've got some redstone popping up here and there. Um, we've got a nice little... Now, what, what you normally do is you would strip mine. So what you do is uh, every two, that's what strip mining is. You do every two um, blocks and you just kind of make a little square. So you might give that a shot. Take a nap. So, we're in a pretty good uh, situation right here. We've got we got about 20 minutes left. So we are going to, one, kind of put my chest up. I don't know what's going on over there, but yeah, I'm not going to ask. Not gonna ask. Um, I do need that. I do need my iron. Okay. So we're going to, I guess we're going to strip mine. Is 
So let's start going in this direction. Something I forgot to bring was torches, but you know what? We have um, some wood. So, just kind of do that. Now, of course, if we find diamonds, I'm actually going to leave them alone for now. Until we have a Fortune 3 pickaxe. Since we can actually make a an anvil, um, we all we really need to do is find a Fortune 3 book, and uh, we'll be good. And, uh, and fill that in. Back away, vile demon. really want to go too far into this cave in case I get lost. Okay, so the good news is, is that there isn't really a place for me to get lost in, so we're just going to take all our torches back because these are not something we want to lose. We will take this iron, however, and, uh, you probably should eat. ba da ba da ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 Okay, we got some more gold right there. Now this will come in handy for uh, the piglins. Pigger, pigger, piglins, pigger, piglins, pigger, piglins. Of course, that's...
Okie dokie. There we go. So you're probably wondering how strip mining works. Well, maybe you're not. Maybe you've played Minecraft before and you know what strip mining is. So essentially what it is, is we're going to keep on going this way. And let me show you. So, essentially, if we were to mine right here, okay, and let's cover this up real quick, just to give you an analysis. Let's say there were diamonds right there or right here see how we can see both sides of the wall here because there's a two block difference so even if there's diamonds on the other side of this right here let's say there was diamonds right here when we go to strip mine right here we're gonna find those diamonds if you if you get what I'm saying so that's that's the only point that I, uh, that's how strip mining works. It can be dull and boring, but it's very effective. So, yeah. Basically, you just go as far as you want to go. Some people go, um, until they hit lava. That's pretty much it. Now, strip mining works better when you have a faster pickaxe. But right now, we don't have much to go on here. Maybe put one right there, too. Yeah, that's... Um, And really what I'm doing right now is kind of, you know, filling time. I mean, I hate to say it, but... But since I can't build my fishing farm... Which is essentially what I've been wanting to do the last couple of episodes, is have a fish farm. It's a really good way to get mending books and other books, so... Booyah! And uh, my goal is to get netherite gear. Full netherite gear. That's the goal. That is the goal. So I hear a monster. And now I hear lava. And I think this is a good... Ooh, Lapis Lazui. She just wants to be a 
An envy, so she. Uh, I think that this is a good place to stop for today. Um, so next time, just letting you know, I will um, have that fish farm. And I think next time what we're going to do is do a fish farm. Doesn't sound like the best thing in the world, but trust me, it is great. And not only that, but if we can't do the fish farm, we have a lectern. So we can do um, that as well. So... I think what we're going to do is we're going to save ourselves. We're going to go to bed, and then we're going to save. And uh, when we come back next time, I should have a nice little... Oh, no. Oh, no. Leave me alone. Where did he come from? No. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know, I'm, I'm just going to leave you alone there, buddy. Throw him in the bottom of the pit like, bye. Sleep. Okay, there we go. That was a good time to... Quit. So, um, as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if it's already good, I hope it keeps on getting better. You know what I'm saying? Okay. See you guys next time.